1993 BC 45. If f of x is the infinite series of sine of sine square of x quantity to the k power, then what would f of 1 be? So first of all, we can see from this uh, series that we have something to the k power, and that's a clear indicator that this is a geometric series. Uh, since it's a geometric series, uh, when k is equal to 1, we're going to get sine of x a is equal to sine square of x, and then your r is also going to be sine square of x. Now we can plug in the 1 now or we can plug in the 1 later. I don't think that it really matters at this point, but we know that uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth partial sum would be a over 1 minus r, which is sine square of x over 1 minus sine square of x. And the 1 minus sine square of x is cosine square of x. So this all comes out to be tangent square of x. <clears throat> and uh, all we need to do then is find tangent of 1 quantity squared is going to be, I'll we'll bring up the calculator, and you just need to make sure that you are in radian mode. So mode is radian, and we're just looking for tangent of 1, then quantity squared, and that gives us 2.426, rounded to three decimal places. And uh, if we were to check, move this over a little bit, we can see that that is answer D. So I'll just kind of move this out of the way. And we have answer D. I'll take a picture of that and put it onto the in the document. And that gives us answer D. Okay, we'll go on to the next.